Hey, good night, everybody. How are you? Hi, Carlito. Hi, Saulito. Hi, Isa. Hi, Nubi. Hi, Maria Santos. Hi, Claudia. Hi, Christian. How you doing? Como les va? Pretty good? Hey, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I want to see your face, Christian. Please. Turn on your camera, sir. Yes. You see, you're a handsome man. Isa, very good. Alex, how are you? I'm so happy to see you. Nubi, Maria, Carlitos. Woohoo! All righty, let's see what happened here. Let me check. Uh -huh -huh. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> All right, I'm so happy. Clarice. All right, very good. All righty. How's your day going, guys? So far, so good? ¿Cómo les ha ido? So far, so good? Yes, teacher. Are you sure? Did you already eat your... Um, I think you were eating yesterday your apple, right? Your red apple. I ate uh, grapes. <laughs> you ate grapes today. Okay, so each yes. day is different food. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and tomorrow, what will be? Maybe banana. Maybe banana. <laughs> okay, that's good. So you love all kinds of fruits, I imagine. Yes. All right. What's yes. your favorite fruit? But the one that you said, oh, I Morning wish I could eat it. Mm, I like all fruits. I don't have a recording stuff. A favorite. <laughs> I don't believe you, you, don't have, you don't have a favorite, but you should have a favorite. Maybe strawberries? Mm, no. <laughs> Blueberries? Not it. <laughs> and then orange, mango? No. <laughs> no. Well, oh, so tell me, what, what, is, what is the one that you would like to eat the most? Or that you eat the most? Mm. Uh, watermelon. <laughs> watermelon, okay. So we can say watermelon. Okay, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Saulito? Isa said that she loves watermelon. What about you? Uh, watermelon too. Watermelon too? Okay, we have two. Two candidates for watermelon. Okay, Christian, what about you? What is your favorite fruit? I not have favorite fruit. You don't have a favorite fruit. You don't like fruits. Yes, uh, o sea, me gusta la mayoría. Okay, most of them. Mm -hmm. Any anyone is special? The grapes. Grapes. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. So we have grapes and watermelon. All right. Thank you, Christian. Isabel, what about you? Bon appetit. Um, Enjoy it. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, my friend, my favorite fruit is grape. Grapes? Peach. Yes. Only grapes? Uh, peach. peach. And peaches. Peach. So your favorite fruits are grapes and peaches. Yes. Mm, grapes. Uh, red ones? Green ones? Red ones. Red, red ones. ones. Okay. Yes. All righty. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have two and two right now. Two watermelons mm -hmm. and two grapes. Okay, cool. Glendy, what about you? Glendy. Hi, teacher. Hi, what's your favorite fruit? Fruit. Uh-huh. Mango. Mango. Uh, the green one, yellow one. Uh, green one. The green one. Oh, yes, because you can put some lemon, right? Yes. Uh, so chili and chili, I don't know if you, yeah. tahin. Have you tried tahin? Yes. Uy. And also uh, al guaste. Oh yes, a washed. Yes. Mm. Oh my goodness. And black sausage. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Delicious. Perfect combination. Definitely. <laughs> Woo -hoo. So we have one that loves mangoes, two that loves grapes, and two that loves watermelons. Alrighty. Awesome. Let's see. Claudi, what about you? What is your favorite fruit, by the way? Claudi, Claudi, my dear Claudi, Claudi. I think Claudi is already stood up and went to take a cup of coffee. Let's give her a time. 
What about Maria Santos? What about you, Maria? Maria, Carlitos, Raulito, Claudi, Nubi. Teacher, I, I, uh, good evening. Good evening. I like, I like all fruits. All fruits. Love, you. love. You gotta pick one. <laughs> no. No. <gasps> oh my God! But tell me, which one you eat the most? What? Which one you eat the most? No. What is the most? Ah, which which one is which fruit is the one that you eat frequently? Oh, uh -huh. mango. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have two yeah. girls that loves mangoes. Two girls, grapes. Mandarin. Okay. Oh, okay. Orange. 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 Pineapple. 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 Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So we can say that you love citric ones. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. with, with tahin. Oh, tar, yes. Ooh. Tahin. A lemon. With. Uh, love you too. Oh, love yes. Of course. Oh, yeah. That's the best one. Oof. Perfect mm -hmm. combination. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Oh, also, jicama, right? Jicama? Mm, so, so. So, so. What about mm. cucumber? Oh, yes. mm -hmm. with lemon exactly with salt chili and all the stuff right oh yes uh, mm. yes what, what in english <laughs> al -waiste is al -waiste. <laughs> like pupusas is pupusas <laughs> if you want to explain what is a washte you need to basically start that you made it based on the seeds from the pumpkins and all the you need to put to give like all details information yeah. mm -hmm. okay awesome Janelle hi girl do you have a day off today today's your day off Janelle she's like where is that where is that <laughs> hey excuse me my microphone, it doesn't work. Yeah, don't but worry. Do, today is your day off? Yes, my week off. Your, really? Yes. Your I week? work one week and uh -huh. I... Hey, that's nice. You work one week and you rest one week. Yes. I oh, that's amazing. One. I like it. Well, it's hard, right? Excuse me? It's hard, but you used to. You can use it. Yes, to. I, it's hard. I start to work at uh, five and I out nine o'clock. Wow, really? Yes. From 5 a.m. to 9 p.m.? Uh, yes, all days. All days? From Sunday? Eight days. Eight days? Oh, oh my yes. goodness, no way. And now what time you arrive back home? Yeah, to... Twelve days, uh, I will go out to work. Uh huh. And twelve days, I came my home. Wow, you came back home. Oh no! And when you came back home, I think you are thinking about eat something, right? That you like. Do you like fruits? Yes, I like. Which fruit. is your favorite fruit? Or what is I your favorite fruit? Guayaba. Guayaba. Ooh, but which one? The Salvadorian ones or the Chinese ones? Salvadorian. Oh, or both? Both. But both right? I prefer the Salvadorian. Why? Because they are they are more sweetie? They are sweetie? Yeah. Okay. Mm. You know what? On my in my house, guys, I have a wajaba tree. Oh, well, actually I had two. And today, um, it was a, a, a huge harvest. Because I think that tree gave me like 20. But they're like these. Oh, and I love because they have a lot of meat. So I cut it, right? And because sometimes when they when they are like huge like this, you need to cut it and you need to eat the outside part of the guayaba. Because inside, 
um, is not good anymore. <laughs> but I took out most of the part outside of guayaba and put some lemon and salt. Ooh, amazing. Oh, yeah. You know what? In my house, I have guayaba trees. I do have banana trees. Um, what else I do have? Uh, oregano, chili, and what else? What else? What else? I, I used to have um, ch to to cherry tomatoes, which are, which is really good because the cherry tomatoes they are like um a little acid or citric taste. So have you ever tried to do a scrambled egg with cherry tomatoes? Sure. Oh, yes. You cannot imagine how marvelous and tastier is the scrambled eggs with those eggs, with those tomatoes. Oof. And also, I remember that I used to have a little plant of Lorocco. Yeah, but I think, remember that we used to have like a time when it was like a raining a lot. Remember? So that Lorocco plant has a weight. Too much water but i remember that i that i had i had a neighbor she was always passing in front of my house and she said can i take some larocos with me so i can i can do like um uh, like a potato tortillas or scrambled eggs with a larocco and i said yeah of course take it take as many as you want and she said like yay <laughs> oh yeah it's really nice Ah, and also papaya tree. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, papaya tree. That's good. You have a papaya tree. Yeah, I I have two papaya trees. One in the front yard and one in the back yard. I have four. <laughs> four papaya trees. That's amazing. Have you ever harvest one? How many ones that the tree has been given to you? Full of Oh, yes. oh my god but you prefer it when they already orange color or when when they are green color both of both both right when they are green i have never tried them when they are green and i have a friend who she lives close to the airport and you she need said uh-huh uh -huh. you, you need to put some yeah. lemon exactly it's delicious yeah it tastes like mango right like green mango Ooh, I love it by heart. So since that time, since my sister, uh, well, it's not my sister. Yes, it's my sister, but at the same time, it's my friend. So she she gave me a uh, papaya, the way that you let me know. And that was fantastic. Fantastic. How do you I say rayar? <laughs> How do you say rayar, guys? How do you say rayar? I know how to say it, but I just want to know if you know. Come on, help Jonelle. Don't be like that. Help her. I will give you a chance to Google it. But hurry up. <laughs> I, Google, I, I know that Google knows everything. Most of the people say that, but that's not true, but that's okay. Uh -huh. How do you say Rayad in English? Huh, you see, Alex is searching it right now. Alex is Googling it right now. <laughs> All righty. Way to go, my friend. It's crashed. Scratches. Scratch. Uh -huh. Scratch. Okay. Scratch. Yeah, with a with a knife, right? I think it's to help the papaya get rid of the milk, right? Mm-hmm. But it's really nice. Ooh. You know what? It's really nice to have some uh fruit and plants that you can use for cooking. Not only because it saves you money. But also because you know what you use to Hello. for the cultivate. What? Excuse me. Uh, I have to. I a scratch is like Rayar. Yeah, like, somebody. Uh huh. Uh huh. Somebody, but cut off is cut enough. Cut enough. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes, you can use that as well. Mm -hmm. Cut enough. Basically, imagine that this is the papaya, right? And this is the knife. So you're doing this. Yeah. So that is cut enough. Mm -hmm. Actually, guys, that one is an ing form, but the it is a phrasal verb. It's cut off. 
Mm -hmm. It's a phrasal verb. And that one basically is the act that you're doing this to the papaya. Like in Spanish it says, ralear. So it's exactly that. Yes. So now, Miss Janelle, thanks to Alex and thanks to Cloudy, you already increased your verb vocabulary. Amazing. You see? I love these guys. There you go. Carlita, we're talking about our favorite fruits. Do you have some in particularly? A favorite fruit? I like to eat mango. Mango? Green, green mango. Oh, another one, you see? Apple. And, and which one? Green apple? Apples. Ooh, and apple. Like Isa. Like Christian. <laughs> All right. You have a lot in common with your coworkers and with your classmates. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, guys. What about... um? How what's the name of this one? Allow me one moment because my hamster is working a little bit slowly today. You know what my hamster is? <laughs> yes, I always call my hamster because when you're getting old, my babies, sometimes you don't you know think like as a faster way that you used to think when you were younger. Okay, let's say mm, 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 mm. oh yes, Marañón happiness. Oi. It's amazing. You know what? When I used to live in Costa Rica, when I used to visit my sister, uh, we went to um every Saturday on a train station. The train does not work on Saturdays. So all the people that cultivates uh, grains, seafood, tomatoes, and all the stuff, they, they brought their own products to the train station. So you can go directly there and purchase what you need. It was like a mini market. So I remember that I bought um Hamarañón Japones like this. Like, like the size of a avocado, but not a Mexican avocado, the other one. Can you imagine? They gave me 11 for a kilo, which is... 2.5 pounds. Can you imagine? But we do? That was enough for me. They were, um, you know how they call in Costa Rica, um, Marañón Japones? Manzana de agua. Why? Because when you chew it, or when you buy it, it has a lot of water. So that's good, right? You're like, interesting. Hmm. All righty, David. Hey, how's your day going, my friend? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, you what's doing? your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit about fruit? Yeah, uh, fruit. Well, I really like watermelons. Watermelon, another one that loves watermelon. <laughs> 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 right now we have three candidates. Okay, guys, so. Now that you heard what your classmate had said, let's play it again. Tell me, who said that loves mango? There were more than one. Oh, Carla. Carla, and who else? Who else? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Only Carla, are you sure? You're missing another person. You don't remember. Come on. Shame on you. Ha. Huh. Oh, my goodness. What about Glendy? Glendy. Glendy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you, Isa, but it was too late. I help you. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. What about grapes? Who said the love grapes in my heart? Christian and Isabel. Christian and Isabel. Only <laughs> Christian and Isabel? I don't remember. <laughs> No, I don't remember. Come on. Help Isa, guys. Or Carla. Carlita, too. Uh huh. She has more than one. Mm -hmm. All righty. Who said the lows were Javas? Janelle. Janelle. Very good. Very good. Uh, 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 uh. Who said the love song? Um... Watermelon. 
Saúl en David. Saúl, David en... Saúl. Saúl, David en... En... Come on. Isa, you can say, en mi, teacher. <laughs> I want I, to I, say. I want to, come on. I want to say. You're gonna, you have, maybe you have think it. I think it, but you say it, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the white chicks? Have you seen that movie? White chicks? No? There were two police officers who were looking to to catch um like the person who would like to kidnap two girls that come from a, from a rich uh, company. And they got an accident, so they left the girls at the hotel, and basically they substitute the girls. They used to be black ones, and they need to transform into white girls. Can you imagine? I uh, I know that movie. The movie. <laughs> uh -huh, it's a movie. Yeah, I have the movie already. White chicks. I remember that uh, when they were like doing like uh, a party time with their other friends, like at night. They're they're doing like a uh, like a girls' ride. Yeah, at, at, at one of them, um, I think out of them, yeah, of their uh, room. And they were thinking about it and, they, and doing their hair and all the stops. And one of them said, ah, uh, you think it, yeah, but you say it. Remember that? Well, that was in English. In the Spanish, it was a different way. I like it. Hey, David, you remember that part? <laughs> yeah, I love it. You know what? I be in a work, I, I'm, I'm working right now for a company that is jewelry, sells jewelry. It calls Bread and Earth. So you cannot imagine. One time I was like, am I speaking with one of these girls? Because I remember that their last name were Wilson, right? So I remember, and I was um helping um, a customer, right? And when, when, I, when I receive a call for another customer, the name of the customer was the name of one of the white chicks. Let's see what is the name. Tiffany Wilson. And I was like, <gasps> and I, and I, I you remember that they're in Spanish and the, in the Spanish tool we have um, recortar. But in English it's a snipping, a snipping tool. The one that looks like a scissor. And I cut the customer page and I send it to my to my co-workers via teams and I let them know guys guys I'm I'm in a white chick why look at who who who, uh, who has a, have a customer and I let them know Tiffany Wolves on this <gasps> my goodness you're so famous my friend you cannot imagine I was really happy because it was the name of one of the girls from that movie of course it was not that the same girl right but I was like <gasps> Tiffany Wilson Oh my goodness, that is one for the white chicks. That was really amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy. And I almost have one that, sold, that shows Tom Cruise, but it was not the actor. <laughs> it was not the actor. Yeah, but it was amazing. Uh, maybe I will tell you uh, uh, another story once, okay? All right, guys. So we'll start talking about it, right? Many things. We're, today, guys, we're going to continue speaking in English. This is going to be basically a speaking and working activities. And if you are a nice student, maybe it's a huge possibility, 99.9%, that we can play another Kahoo. That depends, right, on how are my babies today. Because that will be a gift for you. But depends. Ah, let's see how it works. Guys, we're going to start with a little dialogue, with a little dialogue about two friends. I just want you to let me know, first, where do you think they are? Are they in a shopping center? Are they in a restaurant? Are they in a park? Are they working on the seashore? I don't know. You have got to let me know. And second of all, I just want you to let me know what are they talking about. 
what problem they are talking about. Remember that we have um basically talking about problems and how the and how we solve it. Talking about environmental problems, right? Remember, and we use infinitives to basically provide our idea about how to resolve the problems. So basically, I just want you to focus on only two things. Where are they and what they are talking about? That's all that I need. Are you agree with me? You Did you understand it? Yes, teacher. Yes, or 50-50? Yes, teacher. Yes, only Janelle understood? What happened with the rest? Yes, teacher. No, teacher. Maybe, teacher. So-so, teacher. Are you with me? That, Did you understand? That is a, that? an mm -hmm. audio. It's an audio, yes. Okay. It's a conversation between okay. two people. And I want you to let me know where are they physically and what are they talking about? Easy peasy quizzy. Don't look at me with panic, Alex. Like, oh, teacher. No, I understand. Teacher. Ah, okay, you understood. Okay, Christian, do you understand? So, so. So, so, that's why. Okay, guys. Christian, vamos a escuchar un audio. ¿Sí? Y necesito que me digas a dónde están esas personas que están hablando y dos, de qué están hablando. That's it. Okay. Eso es todo. Okay. Sorry for my Spanish, guys. Me apologize for that terrible inconvenience. But I'm doing my best. All righty. I see meto las cuatro, me dicen, oigan. See, I'm going to be, I'm your English mentor, you're my Spanish mentor, okay? Well, that's awesome, okay? 50-50, give it and give it. All righty, there you go. So let me go back. And I'm going to put this one from the beginning. Let me share right now my screen. And hey, Rote, welcome to the jungle. Sorry, welcome to that class. All righty, there you go. Let me share this. This is part. All righty, there you go. Ready? Are you guys ready? I'm ready. All right. That's the spirit that I need. Very good. Let's listen. Woo. Page 47, exercise 7, conversation. What can we do? Part A, listen and practice. Look at all those dead fish. What do you think happened? Well, there's a factory outside town that's pumping chemicals into the river. How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? Yes, it is. But a lot of companies ignore those laws. That's terrible. What can we do about it? Well, one way to change things is to talk to the company's management. What if that doesn't work? Well, then another way to stop them is to get a TV station to run a story on it. Yes, companies hate bad publicity. By the way, what's the name of this company? It's called Avox Industries. Really? My uncle is one of their top executives. Oops. Okay. So guys, where are they? In a river. In a river? Uh-huh. Exactly. And what is happening? What happened? What is the conversation about? They are looking dead fish dead at fish? the river. Uh-huh. Why? Because there's a, a factory that pump uh, chemicals to the river. Exactly. And tell me something. Um, did you catch the idea about what they are thinking? What would be the best solution to solve it? And they'd yes. be like, yes, yes. honestly, I said, yes, they thinking about cold friends or cold, um, cold what? Cold friends for, um, uh, you can do it, you can do it, Alex, uh, you can do it. Come on, to do, to do, um, and a commercial. Oh, exactly. Like uh huh. 
exactly because they gave two possible situation right yeah. talk directly with the management or call a reporter right yeah what do you think will be the best way the first one or the second one the second one the second one why they mentioned something there They don't like bad publicity. Exactly. Guys, companies, they don't like reporters. They don't like to be on all that TV. Especially for a bad image. But tell me, do you... Uh, well, no, I'm going... Let me double check. I'm going to formulate that question a different way. The girl, the girl that was, think, that was talking at the end, uh, did she know one of the CEOs of the company? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Her, 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 her uh -huh. cousin, I don't know. Her no, it was not a cousin, but it was a relative. Her, right. it's a, it's her uncle. It's a, uncle. Uncle. Yeah, uncle. Correct. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he, wow. Whoops, right? Okay, guys, I'm going to send you this um conversation but as a, in this case, it's going to be as a homework. But, but don't worry about it. <laughs> yes, Alex, please. I know he starts sweating like this. No, it, it's it's a it's a pretty it's pretty hot? hot. Hot, yeah. Wow, where are you? Where do you live? In now it's fun. Ah, yeah. I, I thought he said, I live in a house. <laughs> I just, yeah, I live in a house. Sorry, of, of course you do, right? <laughs> yes. In a watch bun. Oh, yes. It's hot. Hey, but do you live near when they do, uh, uh, or when they prepare um, yuca? Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah it's near to. Oh, yeah. You said to the old lady, hey, I, I want two for delivery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that would be nice oh with our china Oof, amazing okay stop the publicity go back to business <laughs> all righty okay okay guys so I'm, what i'm gonna do let's look at the conversation okay in this in this conversation what we are going to do guys i'm going to help you improve your intonation not only about the expressions, but at the same time, there is donation of a questions. Because, and then when we practice, you will be able to basically feel and transmit more naturality. Okay? But we need to basically improve our vocabulary and our pronunciation. Let me show it to you right now. Just give me a couple of minutes. Let me pull it up here from my system. Woohoohoo! Okay. Let's see. Let me go back to business. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, I have it here. Da -da -da -da. There you go. Can you see my screen, babies? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Awesome. All right. There you go. Okay, guys. Right now, we're going to focus on the questions. First of all. You see, we have one question here. Let's see. There is another question here. Another one here. And what else we have? We have another one here. Oh, there's another one here as well. Uh -huh -huh. And let's see, there is one last one, right? Ah, uh, yes, no. Here, here, yes. This is question as well, but this is more basically like an expression. Okay, guys, you see we have what do, how can, what can, what if, what's the name. What type of questions are these? Do you remember? WH questions. WH questions, exactly. And also we have... This one is a just no question. This is the only just no question that we have right now. But the most of them are WH question. Guys, let me ask you. I, I don't know if you remember, but the intonation 
for W questions goes up or goes down? Do you remember? Goes down, I think. Goes, goes down. down. Goes down, exactly. Awesome. What about the just now question? Goes up or down? Goes up. Goes up. Exactly. Very good. Why I want you to refresh that? Because when we are talking about it or we're reading a question, I want you guys to read it like the way you are reading a question. For example, sometimes there are people that are reading questions, but the intonation doesn't sound like a question. It sounds like a sentence. But if it's a question, you got to pronounce it like the question. Awesome, guys. Very good. Now, let me double check something else. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Let me change color right now. Let's see. This one, this one. Okay. What about this? These are expressions, right? Because we have a exclamation mark here. There's one expression. Let's see. There's this one expression. And this is another expression as a question. Okay, guys, awesome. Would you like me to practice the, the pronunciation of the ex explanations, the exclamations, and the questions? Let's practice together, okay? Repeat after me. Look at all those dead fish. Look at all those dead fish. Look at all those dead fish. I want I want to hear everybody. Look at all Look those, all dead, all fish. those dead, dead fish. fish. Look at all those dead fish. Re repeat it. Look, Look at all, all those, those dead, dead fish. fish. Uh huh. Guys, remember, if you see a dead fish, will you be a surprise or no? Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. So I want you to to pronounce like you're like, oh, my goodness! Look at all those dead fish. Tell you one more time, please. Look at all those Look dead all fish. Those exactly. Fish. Like if you were like, oh my God. Like if you're seeing the horrible scenario. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, another one. That's terrible. That's terrible. That's, that's, that's terrible. terrible. That's terrible. Exactly. I, I, when I, I want to listen to the S. That's terrible. That's terrible. That's, that's terrible. terrible. Yes. That's yes. yes, 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 really, 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 right. really? again, yes. Yes. yes, yes, that's terrible. That's, that's terrible. terrible. Look at all those dead fish. Look, Look at, at all, all those dead, 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 fish. dead fish. Very good. Now we're gonna practice that questions. What do you think happened? What, what do, do you think, think happened? happened? How can they do that? How can I do that? Is it that against the law? Is it Isn't that against the law? What if that doesn't work? What if that, what if that, doesn't, that doesn't work? work? What's the name of this company? 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 What's, What's the, the name, name of, of the company? company? Very good. Guys, while we're doing this, now that we're practicing the pronunciation and the intonation of questions or of expressions, because you need to, guys, express your emotions. For example, imagine, look at my face. If I'm saying, look at all that dead fishes. <laughs> am, I, am I really surprised or am I... Do you think I'm feeling what I'm saying? No, right? It looks like more like I'm robot. But what about you said, oh, look at all these fishes. And you open your eyes like, oh, goodness, right? Really? Yeah. You see, I want, I want you to get into the character, get into the motion. Imagine that you're working with your friends or walking with your friends and you see that as a scenario, all these fishes. How you feel it. It's really important to get into the character. Because I want you guys 
to basically when even though you are reading that conversation, doesn't look like you are reading. I want you to express like if you are basically expressing yourself. And for that is practicing. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, guys, now that we are, have practiced the question intonations and the expressions, I will send this conversation as a homework. I will, I will send it to you on, through the WhatsApp. What I want you to do, listen carefully. Christian, esa pre, esa diálogo lo voy a mandar en WhatsApp. ¿Qué quiero que ustedes hagan? Hmm. Read it. Léanlo. Léanlo. Traten de ustedes hacer el, do, el the both dialogues. Try to do both, both people, the girl and the boy. Okay? That's okay. But please... Try to practice this. Why? Porque quiero que lo practiquen alone. O si tienen alguien más, pues está bueno, chévere. Why? Because um, maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. Because it's going to be for tomorrow. We're going to see you guys tomorrow, okay? Don't, don't forget. Tomorrow, I will pick three pairs. I don't know who. I don't know who am I going to pick. But I'm going to pick a boy and a girl. And I said, hey, Carlita, hey, David, as an hour number two, on as an hour number one, action. And you're going to make the role plays. You see? So I'm, I'm going to pick two or three pairs. I don't know who. But I want everybody to study it, to practice it, because what I'm going to evaluate it, I'm going to evaluate naturality, spontaneously intonation pronunciation yeah and self-confidence that's what i'm gonna evaluate and guys i'm go i'm being nice yo soy bien buena onda porque saben que hago yo en advance se los pido a guayaba así i'm a bad teacher Se los pido, guayaba. You must learn it or you must learn it. Y a veces soy bien mala gente porque no le doy un día. Le doy 15 minutes to learn it. Así que I'm being nice with you. One day is enough. Y se lo prenden a guayaba, pues. ¿Qué les parece? Pánico escénico, right? <laughs> Look at David. Like, yes. Okay. So I'm going to send you this dialogue at the end of the class. Okay. So you can practice and we're going to make some role plays tomorrow. Pero bien, bien buena onda voy a hacer porque antes de los role plays los voy a poner. Los voy a poner en para que se siga practicando y ya después vamos a ir a lo mero mero. Vea. Como dicen, a la matanza. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Teacher, you're so mean. Yes, I am sometimes. Yes. Uh -huh. Very good. Después de este breve ataque cardíaco, <laughs> heart attack, yes. All righty. Let's continue. Let's continue with it. Okay, guys. Now that we already have practice, uh, 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 um, let me ask you something. Let's see. Uh -huh. Would you like to play? Hello. Yes, teacher. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Really? Yes, teacher. Yes. A hundred percent sure. <laughs> yes, teacher. All right. Awesome. Sure. Okay. Okay. So remember, you gotta use two devices, right? Remember that. It's exactly the same instructions as the previously one. Two devices. One device you're you're looking onto my page, on my screen, and the other one you answer. You must read faster, because on your device you will see only the colors, but not the answers. The answers will be shown on my screen, and I have time. And guys, remember, this is a tricky teacher, because sometimes I forgot punctuation. Sometimes I misspell something on purpose, of course. 
right? And sometimes I mix answers as well. And sometimes my questions are tricky as well. So you better read it fast. Ah, you have to read fast, okay? Just let me know once you're ready. You ready? Yeah? Okay, so let me go back and remember what's the what's the page, right? Would you like me to send it one more time? Okay. It's kahoot.it. Let me know once is one is asking basically for the ping number. Does it ask you for the PIN number already or no? Hello? Hello? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. All right. Allow me one moment. Now doesn't want to cooperate, huh? Okay. Okay. Just allow me one moment because this one is still working. Okay, there you go. All right. Okay, guys. It's almost giving me the PIN number. So let, okay, the PIN number is 9132942. One more time. Nine one three two nine four two. Nine one three two nine four two. Okay, got Isa, David, Carlita. Janelle, Catherine, yeah. Sorry, teacher, can you Paulito? give me the pin, please? The pin yes, of course, my friend. Yes, slowly, uh, please. As, no, slowly, and slowly, no. Ha. Huh. Okay, slowly, like, okay, nine, one, three, two, nine, four, two. Okay, this is for Christian, yes, slowly. I <laughs> who put the, the pin number as a koala? <laughs> I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys. I'm missing people here. I'm missing party. I got Christian here. All right. Two, nine, four, two. We have 17 people, so I'm missing people right now. Okay, just send the pin number via chat, via Zoom chat. Okay, let's see what else I have. I got Christian. I get Glendy, Saulito, Catherine, Janelle, Sara, David, Carla. The, the pin number. I got only nine person here. That will be the only ones who will play, be, be playing today. Somebody else? Who's missing? Quien hace falta? Isabel, are you here? Yes, teacher. Which one you are? Uh, a pony. The pony. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, the nine one three four nine four two. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Who else is missing? I only have nine persons here. Clau, very good. Ten. I think I'm missing Nuvi, Maria Santos. Natalie, Carlos Alberto, right? And Raulito, I think, and Ruti. I think also Ruti. Let's see, nobody else? Okay, I'm going to start with the person that I do have here on my system, okay? Let me start with them. Are 
Are you able to see my screen? Let me know once you're able to. Are you ready, guys? Ready. Okay. Let's play. Guys, this is a topic that you're supposed to know already. But it's really good that we make some refresh. What's the topic about? Let's see. Adverse conjunction and modal verse review. Quiz. Adverbs before adjectives. Choose the correct option. Woohoo! Very pretty, extremely. Adverbs before adjectives. Oh my goodness. Okay. I will kill you guys. Catherine is the first one. Caro. Okay. All righty. Let's continue. True or false? Two with double O. We usually use it with negative adjective. That is true or that is false? Could be. Obviously, but it could not be too obvious. That is true, babies. We use two with negative adjectives. Clow! Bye, Kathy. Let's yeah, continue. Kathy. Let's continue. Yeah. Quiz. According to the following formula, Choose the correct sentence. Subject plus verb plus not plus adverb plus adjective. Exactly. Why, guys, is not number three? It's not blue. Because I forgot the period at the end of the sentence. And also expensive. I forgot the period. Remember, I'm a tricky teacher. Cloud, you're still at the top. David, you're almost gone. Pay attention. You're the only man right now. Well, at least at the tops. True or false? We use mother verb can to express ability, doubt, permission, etc. Yes or no? Yeah, very good, guys. Yes, very good. Oh my goodness, Isabel is close, Clau. You better watch out. True or false? We use mother verb should to express necessity, advice, regret, etc. Yes or no? Yes, very good, guys. Oh my God, David, you're back. Hey, you see? Oh my God. Christian, you're almost there. You're almost there. Quiz. We use it to connect two plus or two minus ideas. We use it and we use it to connect two positive ideas or two negative ideas. Choose the right sentence. Exactly. That one. Oof, that was really tough, right? Alrighty. Cloudy. David! Oh my god. Watch out, Cloudy. David is close to you. Close to you. Da 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 Alrighty, let's see. But 
connects a positive idea with a negative idea. Check, check this out, the sentence, which is the correct sentence. Awesome, good job. Guys, why it was not the blue one? Because the word restaurant, I misspell it. And why it was not the yellow one? Because I forgot the period at the end of the sentence. Teacher, me sacó el sistema. Come back. Maybe your internet. David. Oh, Claudi. Bye bye. True or false? Thought and however connects positive ideas with negative negative ones. Those at the end of the sentence. That is a yes, true or false, guys. What do you think? Yes, that's true. Isabel, way to go. Cloudy, what's going on? David, good job. True or false? We use conjunctions to join two parts of the sentences. Give more information, give alternatives, give reasons, give results. That is a yes or that is a no. True or false? That is true. Very good job. Woof. David Donnell. Bye, Claudia. The last one. Put the sentence in the correct order. You drink water every day should. What would be that correct sentence? A structure. Very good. You should drink water every day. Good job. All righty. And the third place goes to Isa. Good job. Second place goes to Isabel. And the first one place goes to Mr. David. Christian and Carlita almost close. Way to go, my friends. Good job. David, you made it, my friend. You made it. Give me all five. Woohoo! Excellent job. I'm a winner. <laughs> yeah. I was on fire. You rock, my man. You rock. Would you like to <laughs> play one more? Ah, uh, you see, we have to remember, right? Adjectives, adverbs, conjunctions. You're supposed to know that, but it's really nice to make a refresh sometimes. All righty, there you go. So let's see. Let me just go back and I will give you guys um another pin. Just let me know that. Just allow me one moment. Tell me. Teacher. Yes, my dear. Excuse me. Um always use we have to use comma before um. Uh-huh. Before end, yes. Always. Always. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Allow me my moment, because I'm picking another one. Just bear with me. <laughs> Let me go back. Let me close this one. Let me open this one. <laughs> I'm going to select another one. Let's see which one I have. <laughs> yes, I have a lot of them. You cannot imagine how many I do have. 
Okay. Let me pick this one. This one is way too easy. All right. Let me give you the pin number. Just allow me one moment. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I know it's taking forever. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> okay, guys. The pin number is 5443299. 5443299 Teacher 534 Ah, allow me one moment. Let's see. 5443299. Okay, let me double check what we have here. 5443299. I have Carl, Carla, Christian, Isabel, David, Saulito, and Janelle. Anybody else? Alguien más? Anybody else? Christian? Zara? Should we start? Empezamos? Yeah? Okay, let's go. Yes. Alrighty. I'm gonna share my screen. There you go. Are you there right now, guys? Yeah. Okay, let's start. This one is you're supposed to know that already. Quiz. What is the difference between simple past and present perfect? Take a look. There is no difference. I don't remember. Don't put that, please. It could be blue or green. Yes, very good. Both are positive. Okay, David, where'd you go? Christian, oh, oh Janelle, awesome. Quiz, answer the following question. What are you going to do? Look at the picture. Remember that sometimes I miss the period at the end of the sentence. Exactly. Very good. Number one. Excellent. Clau. David, you're about to go. True or false? We use will for plans you've decided on. That means for plans that you're 100% that it will make happen. That's false. Good job, David. Let's continue. True or false? We use going to for plans you decided on. That means that what plans are we are sure that you're going to do it. Yes. That's true. David, good job. Tell Lito, where to go? True or false? We use will for possible plans before you made a decision. Is this true or false? That's true. Very good. Good job, Dave. Six quiz. Which are the models used for describing necessity? Thank you. 
driving sassy tea. The yellow one, correct. Way to go, Salito. Good job, David. Dave, Christian would be the one who always had the answer a good one. So four answers correct. There you go. True or false? We can use imperative and infinitives to give suggestions. Is that true or that's false? Look at the cat. So we'll leave this like that. Yes. That's true. All righty. Number eight. Complete the following sentence using relative ah, time. Thanksgiving is a day. Relative clause of time. Paying attention. Exactly. Guys, the relative clause of time is this phrase, when. Never forget that. Bye, mm -hmm. bye, baby. Hey, way to go, Christian. Exactly, yeah. All right, true or false? When, after, and before are Alvelvian classes of time. Is that true or is that false? That's true. Almost finished. Hey, David, going back on track. Last one. Neither do I. It's a short response that you give when you express in an affirmative sentence with Jaren. Is that true or is that false? What do you think? No, but the that it is incorrect? The grammar part doesn't exist? That's correct? No, do I? Hey. Hey, turn on. That's correct. All right. First place goes to, or oh no, third place goes to Carlita. Way to go, Carlita. Second one, David. First one goes to Christian. Where you go? Guys, por favor. Okay, ya era Carlito Alberto. <laughs> okay, guys, what a way to end this class. You see, we just recap. Now you will never forget to maybe tomorrow if we still have time, we're going to do another kahoo, okay? Okay, guys. Thank you so much for being today's class. Hugs and kisses. Have an amazing night. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, my babies.